Okay, the next step is to label the views. I'll start with the primary view. Why not? The key is to make sure you're in the primary view. Notice I'm currently in the isometric view. If I just go right to annotation and I jump into text and I click a location for my text and I type something in, it looks like it's related to this view. But when I come up here, and go to uh, my, I'll turn my frames on. If I move my engineering ISO view, see that text followed? I don't want that text to follow. I want that text to stay with this view. So I'm gonna hit undo. That's the control Z button. And we have to delete this text. See this red box? It's coming all the way down here because it now identifies this as part of that view. So it has to make the box bigger. So I'm going to delete this. And notice the red box is now smaller. So that's another clue that lets you know, hey, if that red box is way out there, then something's out there too that we got to address. All right, so to label this view, you simply activate this frame first or double click the front in the specification tree, which may be a little easier. And we're going to label the view now using the annotate tab. Under annotate, the first feature is called text. I will click a location and I will type in dash one for your part number and I will call it primary all caps. I will use shift enter and I'll type in scale one colon one. One thing I got to do is I got to change this height. So again, remember you got to highlight this up here. And we got to get that whole top row highlighted. Right click properties and change that to five. Select apply and select OK. Geez, it looks funny. If I select on this, go to right click and properties. I want to have Uh, that text center justified. So I'm going to change that to center justified. So change the junction to center justified and hit apply. This text goes in the center. Select OK. This primary view should be slid over here towards the middle of the part itself, right underneath that 4.0 dimension. All right. Now, the trick here is to copy this. So I'll double click on that and I'm going to hit copy. Oh, no, not cut. Right click and hit copy. Say OK. Before I insert the text, though, you want to make the view active. So I'm going to double click the view and come over here. See how the red box is over here now? I'll right click and hit, uh, I'll go to text. Sorry, I'll. Pre I'll create text, click a location for the text, and I'm going to right click paste over here, and I'm going to change the word primary to principal. Now, if you want to change that to say front view or side view, that's fine too, but to make it easy, just call it the principal view. All right, again, I got to double click on this and then highlight the top row. And let's try this object. Oh, I don't. I'm going to have to go to properties since it's already active. And we're going to change this to center justification. Hit apply. Unfortunately, when I do that, because I only had the top row highlighted, it only did that port, uh, did the uh, top portion center justified. Let me right click and go back to object properties. And sometimes you can find these here and it's easier to do it real quick right here. <laughs> if I can make this thing bigger. All right, so it looks like that's my justification and then there's my text height. So if I highlight this 
So I'll highlight the whole thing and I'll hit center justified. Okay. And then we'll try and highlight just the top row. So it's weird. I can highlight it there, but then I want to come over here or now with it highlighted, hopefully I can just change that height to five. Select OK. Move this over. Okay, and it's centered right directly underneath that part. Okay, we got one more view to label. Oh, so what we want to do here, again, I just use the same name because it's easier for me. I'm going to copy that. Unbelievable. Right click and hit copy. Say OK. And remember, step one is activate the top view first so when I go to insert the text I'm gonna click text over here and click a position I'm gonna in the text editor I'm gonna just cut and paste okay if you can't get cut and paste work you're just gonna have to type it remember you're gonna highlight the whole thing and hit the center justified and then highlight just the top row and change that to five. Select OK. And then if you're done with this, you can just close that off. Move this so it's centered. Go to the View tab. Turn off the display frame. Go to Fit All In. May remember to get the blue axis down here by right clicking on the sheet and hitting Edit Sheet. That puts the blue axis on the corner. And now we have all the views labeled. Um, this view and this view here, that should be somewhat aligned. You could turn your grid on to help you kind of make sure they're close to being in a line. I kind of use that grid line to help me get that and centered this way as well. Turn this off. And there we have our drawing with all the labels and all the dimensions on there.